Dead donkey dead. Dead donkey dead Definitely a couple spots I'm gonna have to touch up on the ceiling because I painted it too. But everything looks pretty good. There's a little bit of tiger striping on this back wall. That's what I'm calling it. Oh, there's some on this wall too that I just realized. Hell, there's some on all these walls, I believe. Yeah, but it's fine. It's I just needed to cover up most of that. The lavender, I'll put on two coats. It's not really lavender. Whatever the color is, the main the actual coat, I'll put on two coats and it'll be fine. But uh I did discover towards the end of that sprayer that if you just move really slow, keep it about six inches. I already knew not to do the curvy arm thing, but to keep my arm straight across and keep the, maintain the same distance equally. But uh, I was going too fast and do more of a pressure washer action. I had to, I finally learned if you go slower, that's what I was doing on the ceiling particularly. So yeah, it looks like might be a couple of areas in that, I don't know if you can tell. Supposed to, uh, I tried to upgrade a suite, but this place is fully freaking packed. It's fully booked, so no suite for me. Not too bad. It's scary chair, scary chair, scary balcony. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh no, it's got a girl going at it. And I heard somebody get involved. And dude was like, mind your business. And then it got quiet after that. Cause she probably pulled out the phone. But we just got woken up at five till five by freaking fire alarms and sirens going off to the whole hotel. So we took off for the fire door at the end of the hall and set off that alarm. Can you hear it? And the fire department came out and they gave us the all clear. So apparently we're all not on fire. Pretty close. A little bit bottom left, a little bit on this side, and then I'll just have to fine tune it. I'm getting pretty close, but man, it's my arm. Is my arm dickered? I kind of screwed up when I drilled out these channels. As uh, I drilled into the thing, I didn't work on that for like two days. It'll be at least another two days since I work on it again because it just it blows my arm out.
finally broke down. I got a new computer. Got a 2022 17-inch. It's amazing. It's an HP, whatever. Like it's just like the one I have, except it's been upgraded. So I got 64 gigabytes of RAM. Intel Core i5. I got an i5. I could have got an i7 which touch screen and a 15 inch But it was a hundred dollars more and the i5 and the i7 are pretty pretty comparable and it's way past halfway and it's been going for about Six and a half minutes. This would normally be like a three-hour render Or at least like an hour and a half render on this on this HP that has 16 gigabytes of RAM and I think I don't even know what 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 chip it has in it. I don't have a clue. But yeah, that's uh, I'm having some potato salad. It's delicious. Well, I messed around and did a thing. Another thing. After I already did one thing, y'all saw the one thing. Now you're about to see the other thing. There's the one thing. There's the other thing. I'm on dual recording, so it's kind of close up. Can't get a wide shot with this wangle. But yeah. I didn't get the ranch like there as that's like three grand this one for like a thousand dollars less and uh, I'm in the process of putting some shelves in right now just some simple how you doings uh, got a 12 by 12 on some 2 by 4s there I'm just using whatever scrap wood I had got it notched out not well but good enough got some 2 by 6s up here because I don't have any more 12 inch, don't have any more 12 inch boards. I'm gonna have to use these six inch boards, which means I need a, I need a bigger base so there's nothing for the wood to sit on once it's notched out. I used the jigsaw to notch out everything in the beginning. It's a jigsaw, it's kind of rough and tumble. So I, I used the chop saw. Couldn't use the chop saw on the 12 inch, but I could use the skill saw to, uh, so, you know, go down and, you know, just do a whole bunch of slits. So you have a bunch of pieces like this. Then you just hit with a hammer and those come out. And you just clean up the edges with the chisel real quick. So what I've done is so we're about to go check the fitment on this one. And then I'll have to do another board in front of it. But it won't have to be notched out. And then just do the same thing on the other side. And uh, then I can start clearing out some of this crap. Clearing out some of that crap. And uh, I debated making this my motorcycle slash, you know, bicycle shed, but I don't think I'm going to right now. I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna leave her as is and use her for storage. Um, so yeah, I'm an idiot because I looked, I'll try to put a link up or a picture of it because I was at Home Depot the other day recently after I'd already purchased all these things and I was just sort of uh, looking around and they actually have a nice 10 by 16, not quite two story, but taller than this with seven foot sidewalls. And uh, it's, seven, it's walls like this, seven foot sidewalls, but it's a ceiling like this on top of seven foot wide sidewalls. It's got a big, and of course 16 foot long, 10 foot wide. And uh, do your doors and windows however you want. And the whole second, you can put, put shelving along the entire across the entire thing and down would be a great place for storage build a little staircase up there to go up there on the side or something and that'd be a great place for storage and then I mean the whole thing would be a great place for storage and then I could actually um, you know use these for whatever but one of those buildings and then a nice metal open on both ends but full sided about 20 foot long 15 foot wide uh building for my tractor and my all my lawn equipment all that shit that'll be grand and then i can get all this stuff out from under here and then make this more of a hangout area put another picnic table under here and uh put lights around the whole thing I'll still use this area as a work area, but I could always, if I wanted to, I could always wall this off, but I probably won't. I'm probably just going to remove this table and, uh, I don't know, hadn't decided, 100%, hadn't decided, I'm just rambling, 
but yeah couldn't couldn't work inside today because the old lady's sleeping and i'm waiting for plaster to dry so uh i'm just doing the dreaded task of getting stuff ready so i can move stuff out of the move stuff out of here because this is as you can see i'm about full to the brim and it's ridiculous so gotta get some stuff out of here and i mean i can't even i want to get the room done because i can't even get this shed empty until i get the room done i got five pieces of plywood in here that's going in that room so i can't put my motorcycle in here my other motorcycle or my bike while this is in here and then i got a steel barrel that's in great condition and housed isopropyl alcohol so it's perfectly fine to contain gas and it's not rusted out at all these are only slightly rusted out and honestly they're good enough too but you know i'm gonna go ahead and use these as burn barrels once the new one i have down there i can't zoom i was gonna zoom i can't zoom but yeah i have one i've got four of these i cut off the top of one of them that's the burn barrel down there because my other burn barrels had uh rusted out to nothing so i got two more on the spare when this one does and i'm going to put this one under that 16 or under that 10 foot 20, 20 10 foot 20 long building i'm going to fill it with gas with one of those little pumps eventually and then i'll have 50 gallons of gas here at my disposal for all the equipment and whatnot or fuck i may use diesel because i'll probably have a tractor at that point so i may need to actually save another one of those barrels but all right, I don't know how the view was on me for the door recording. I don't know what I was thinking. Ruger, what's going on? He's mad as piss that he's not on his couch sleeping. But he bit his brother the other day, so they can't be inside together anymore. Isn't that right, buddy? Oh, yeah, trying to play the... I don't know what? Innocent. So for those of you who don't know, this is the action that we're going for. And it's easily achievable with uh, any type of saw, mechanical or otherwise. You have to clamp it down on the surface if you're uh, if you're doing it manually. Yeah. On something like this, you can get away with just holding it. simple and they all knock out pretty easy regardless of whether they're kind of thick or kind of thin and then like I say just clamp it down and clean it up with a chisel I mean you can hit it with a jigsaw but it's just it's a little bit cleaner with a chisel and I need chisel work I need chisel practice Should have, but and there you go, not too bad for somebody that doesn't know what they're doing. All right, let's see if we did well. Yeah, we did well. Okay, as you can see, there's not a lot of not a lot of board supported, right? But this is this is very thick, pressure treated two by six. And then I'm going to take a couple boards, you know, there, there, and there, between each rafter, between each, well, I don't know what these are called, between each support, I'm going to run a board, support board across the bottom, give it extra support, because I like overkill. And that's it, hard work's done. Three shelving areas, that's probably all I need for in here. Uh, I'm going to take some two by fours. And just run them across just tack them in outside to all these so when i lean stuff up against the walls 
it won't be pressing on the particle board. And uh, other than that, I'll be done. Okay, that's the idea. Just do a couple runners, and I mean, hell, what, you know, had this wood sitting here for two years. So, all the more reason to use it. Got a two by six going across the back there. Tied in over yonder. Keep stuff from hitting the wall. Um, probably be alright with none up there. Might throw one up on this side so I can put taller stuff. And yeah, do a couple more like this along the back and under here. And then we should be basically golden. Besides, I might uh, I can go ahead and throw a seal on this floor before I fill it up too much. Go get some sealant and roll that shit on. But uh, yeah, that's your update. Be a nice little storage area when I'm done. Oh yeah, tacking my little supports in. It'll be golden. It's gonna be a strong shed. It's gonna be my tornado shelter. <laughs> I don't know how level you think they got my shed. Like, what's that about? The wind's barely blowing. That tells me that something's not level. That ain't no, that door ain't on a spring system. throw in our ATZ7 lithium ion performance battery high performance battery which I got like a year ago <laughs> I think I got a year ago anti-gravity restart technology and first intelligent battery yada 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 look at the difference in size and this has got a way I mean, 15, 20 times as much, this is air. So these battery cables have like lips, right? You can see the little, little lip it has. Well, those lips fit perfectly over the stock battery. This is not as wide. Now I'm gonna have to debate whether I wanna try to bend these or cut them off. I don't think I can put them on backwards without cutting the wire and re-soldering them on. And it'd be easy peasy if I could just take the wire out, right? Oh, I need, I need cooling. While I have this off, I need to put cooling in there. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. There's no way I'm going to be able to. Yeah, can't cut it, can't bend it. Okay, about to drill into a battery. I'm sure there's nothing that can go wrong with this. They always fit in the top holes, but and now they fit in the side holes now that I bored them out. But originally they wouldn't have fit. It's weird that the holes would be different sizes. Oh shit! I gotta drill out the freaking battery things or the the wires too. I forgot about that. Idiot.
know, it's got a good enough connection. Holds it pretty tight. It could slide a little bit potentially, but. from a five minute job into a 15 minute job, but she's done, so. All right, that's that. One task completed. <laughs>
You talking about? Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Look what I got. I got these. Nice. Yeah. Hey. Let you get a hit. You the designated hitter. Let's right? see the hot. What we got? Let's see. Nice. Got all the blow pops. What you got, man? Yeah, yeah. You got all that? 